Okay, so I titled this video the 2023 guide to modern masculinity. Okay, that means when the 99% of guys are going a direction, you have to understand the things that's going to separate yourself to get to the 1%. Okay, that's why I'm going to be showing you unconventional methods that's actually going to help you win. Now, after this video is over, what I want you to do is I want you to take this info even a step further and go down below and register for the MBT webinar. Because on that secret webinar training that I have below this video inside of the link, what's going to happen is I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes training to level up and understand masculine behavioral techniques even quicker. Nevertheless, okay, these six traits that I'm going to be showing on this screen are going to be completely unconventional. Conventional. Now, well, the whole world, well, everybody on YouTube is teaching you how to get women, how to attract women, how to level up your status, okay? What you have to understand is that their lust controls them. And since their lust controls them, they are playing a game to get to their end desire, which is the bedroom, okay? If you're playing for the end game to get to the bedroom, you've already lost because that is a game that you can't win. Here's why. You have to control your lust. As a man, all of the nights that you spend swiping on dating apps, all of the, all of the nights that you spend watching these podcasts telling you about how to get girls, blah, blah. Okay, all these hours spent chasing tail and trying to strategically place moves to level yourself up on a, on a game that you are not designed to win, it's going to completely fail because you have now fallen into the trap. Do you understand that when you do these things and when you operate this way, you are still subconsciously pedestalizing women and you're pedestalizing the intimacy you could be getting inside of the bedroom. You do not want to do this. You have fallen into the trap. 99% of the guys have fallen into the trap and even the guys who you idolize are probably fallen into the trap. This is a game that is not designed for you to win. If you do this, you have to look at what you're missing out on, okay? What you're missing out on is the ability to actually tap into your God-given intuition and purpose Okay, and level up your life, which leads me to point number two. It is your job and your responsibility as a man, in my opinion, okay, this is more of a how I do things, how I look at the world. I believe it's my duty to maximize my day. Okay, this has really helped me in a lot of ways because if you do the things that it takes to get ahead, such as you are up early, okay, you actually document your time, okay, you look at where your time goes, you only do things that's going to level up your purpose, level up your life, going to bring you fulfillment, and you don't stop moving, okay, this is what I mean, don't stop moving, okay? 7 a.m., you're up, bam, you're at the gym, then by 9 a.m., you're working, bam. Then you work a good 10-hour day, bam, it's 7 o'clock, okay? Now, let's say you got to uh, meditate or pray, okay? You got to get groceries, you got a meal for up, blah, blah, blah. What I'm trying to tell you to do is I'm gonna try to tell you why in your early years, okay, it is best to not stop moving, and even as you grow old, too, it's best to not stop moving and here's why. You can literally outwork your sadness. Think about that for a second. You can outwork your sadness and you can outwork your self-doubt. If you do so much work, okay, that you can outwork your self-doubt, you're not going to struggle with lack of confidence and here's why. You have done more volume in life than most people, okay? Volume is how you get ahead. Think about it for a second. If I am nervous to bench press 225 pounds, I have self-doubt about my ability, but let's say for the past 12 weeks prior to that, I bench pressed 215 pounds for a double, okay, each time. I know that there's a very, very high chance I can actually hit that two plate benchmark. The same goes, I mean, like, think about it even if you're, <laughs> for those of you who have never slept with a girl, your first time's nervous, okay? If you've slept with a girl 150 times, it's like clockwork because you've, you've put in the reps. That's a different way of looking at it and I'm making an analogy, but you have to understand this. You need to realize how little most do. Like just for a second, understand how, how slow that the modern man actually behaves and the modern man lives, okay? They're up at a time that suits them. A lot of times they're lackadaisical. When they're at work, they're not productive. They're not worried about being productive. They're doing whatever they can do to just get through the day. Okay, if that's most guys, you gotta realize how quickly you can move ahead and separate yourself from the pack. And that separation is what positions you at a spot of true higher value. So that's the second tip, okay, for the modern guide to masculinity. The third, okay, this is another thing that guys miss out on. You need to actually dedicate your life to a craft. Okay, when you dedicate your entire life to a specific craft, what happens is your work Okay, what you're working on, what you're building has a compounding effect. Now, this is important because when you have a compounding effect in your work, you can actually scale your income. 
Think about this for a second. Majority of men are doing things that don't compound. If they're trading hours that they spend working, okay, and the time that they spend working for a specific dollar amount or for a specific paycheck, they're not purpose driven, they're not mission driven, they're not building anything, it's going to be extremely hard to scale your income. Not only that, you gotta look at this from a broader perspective. We all have 24 hours in a day, okay? If, if I have 24 hours in a day, and let's say Warren Buffett has 24 hours in a day and my brother has 24 hours in a day, like, and we're all at different income levels. Okay. You got to realize this hard work won't make you rich. It depends on the highest leverage activities that's correlated to your purpose to give you a compounding effect. Okay. Let me give you an example. If you are, let's say you own a business and you're doing marketing. Okay. You could do one Facebook live and 50 people could see you. Okay, or you could try to set up 50 one-to-one -one appointments. What do you think is going to have a quicker compounding effect? Obviously the one Facebook Live. The 50 appointments would take you days or weeks. The one Facebook Live you can do in an hour. Potentially all of those people could share that video or they could share that post. All of a sudden you now have a ripple effect or a snowball effect. That's one quick example off the dome, okay, of what it looks like to actually scale something and what it looks like to have your work have a compounding effect that can pay off for you. Here's what I'm telling you. General skills get paid general prices. We live in a world right now where men have a general base of skills. Like, oh, I can hard, I'm hardworking, or oh, you know, I'm okay at communication, okay? These are not the things that get you paid. What gets you paid in life as a true high value man is specific skills in specific areas, okay? Like, if you look at this very, very deeply, even take, take a basic example, like, I'm a, let's say you're a plumber. If you're a plumber, Okay, think of it this way, you, gra like you have to have a specific tool for a specific pipe, for a specific piece of metal at a specific size, and only you would know that because it's a specific trade. When you dedicate your life to a craft, you can start to compete in an audience of one. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When people can't compare you, you can now dominate Okay, you can be the Tom Brady in your own space. This is another way that you get ahead as a man and this separates guys who just want the end result which is more women versus guys who actually know what it means to become full stack. So, number four, okay, reject the modern world, okay, and the beliefs on what you believe a man should be, on what you should be specifically. Here's what you gotta realize, okay? Every single individual is on a completely different path. We all are on a different path. Every single man is on a different path, okay? God gave you masculine intuition weaved down deep within you. Okay, here's what you gotta realize, okay? Well, 99% of guys out there, they don't even try, okay? It's easier than ever to win. Like, I want you to really believe that deep down within you. Like, you gotta realize most guys right now are not trying. Most guys are drinking pizza, at, right? Eating Mountain Dew. They're sitting there playing video games. Like, it's not good. And you gotta realize, like, I'm laughing at this because you gotta understand, Society keeps men weak. Therefore, you don't have to do a whole hell of a lot and you can still persevere. You can still get the types of women that you want to attract. You can still have an amazing dating life, okay? And you don't have to do anything crazy. You just have to give a little bit of effort. Now, in order to do this, a big belief that I've lived by my whole life is I believe it's your duty or it's my duty, it's our duty as men to get as strong as humanly possible. When I say as strong as humanly possible, I mean in every area. If you look at your life where when you wake up, your alarm goes off and you tell yourself every single morning when you wake up, you go, how can I get as strong as possible physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally? How can I just become a brick, like a solid brick, like, that, uh, like a, a force to be reckoned with and a strong dude? If you approach life with that kick-ass mentality, it's hard to lose. And when you start to live like that, you run into point number five. Point number five, you start to realize that it is not in your best interest to chase girls. Okay, so do not chase girls, and I'm going to explain why. If you focus on stacking your body, okay, that's the arousal factor and how good you look. If you focus on stacking cash, that's your competence level. Now I'm gonna tell you another secret. When you stack skills that scale, okay, and you focus on stacking cash, it increases your competence. I believe this is one of the fastest ways to not only learn game and true seduction, but this is also one of the quickest ways to learn how to connect with people. I've never met a single businessman, I've never met a single high value dude who's made something of himself that doesn't have good people skills, doesn't have good emotional intelligence, okay, and is not good at talking. It doesn't exist. These are the recipes to get ahead. So, what you're gonna notice is if you spend time stacking your purpose, stacking your ambitions, 
you start to see that high school is almost the same as real life, especially when it pertains to the dating game. When I say that, okay, the high school quarterback who got all the girls, he was, a, he was great in his domain, right? Throwing the football. If you look at your life like that and you're now the star quarterback of your own domain, which is why it brings me back to point number three, dedicating your life to a specific craft. When you choose one thing and you go all in on it and you actually go and get ahead, this is how you win. Last, he who is most human will win. I completely believe that it is getting harder and harder, not only for men to date, but it's getting harder and harder for women to date because they can't actually find masculine men that they're attracted to. With that said, okay, let every other guy out there sit on social media, okay? Let everybody freak out about AI, okay, and let that get more advanced. Just say to hell with it, who cares, okay? Let the world focus on all these wrong things. If you actually focus on your soft skills and your emotional intelligence, of connecting with people, this is the secrets to winning in business and dating and in life. It's when you can make the other person feel something on a true human to human and or emotional level. These are the six skills, okay, to win with modern day masculinity. These are the six skills I believe you need and the reason why I believe you need them is because these are the six things that I'm currently focusing on to this day. If you like this video, I want you to go down below, register for the MBT webinar. It's going to be a totally life-changing presentation and I stacked ridiculous amounts of bonuses that will totally transform your life by the end of it. Go down and register for that. You're going to love it. Okay, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.